Hey yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my bathroom once again. Uh, I'm doing part two of the Wilkinson sword. Um, I keep thinking it's called the precision. The Wilkinson sword protector three. Yep, it's th this is part two of the review. In my last review, I or like my last unboxing, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I unboxed it and I gave you guys my quick opinions. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna shave with it. Uh, I've already washed my face. Remember, if you're shaving, like either wash your face or have a shower. It depends what you want to do. I just wanted to do this review quickly, um, so I just washed my face. Uh, now, because I have it, like the, or because my shavers are all like uh, Wilkinson sword. Uh, like that means basically almost all my shaving equipment is Wilkinson sword, which I really like. Got some nice lather. Again, Wilkinson sword lather. You can never go wrong with it. Has that beautiful like bar? Oh, but in case you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm taking like um, foam from the bottom and I'm putting it on top. So when I do it, like obviously all the foam is on my face. Um, so yeah, just like usual, mirrors up there. You're down there. So if I'm looking up there, I'm not like trying to disrespect you guys. I'm just looking at my mirror. Um, and yeah, let's do this. So if you guys watch my shaving videos. You'll know the reason why I bought the Protector 3 in the first place was because I accidentally bought the wrong cartridges for the shaver or for the razor, whatever you want to call it. So, yeah. The whole gimmick is that you won't cut yourself while using it. So if I cut myself with it, it doesn't work. <laughs> While I'm lathered up, I want to do my thumbnail real quick, uh, just so people know like what this video is, <laughs> even though it's in the title. Do any of you guys do that? Like, you don't actually watch videos by the title, you like click the thumbnail. And if it's something that you like, like if the thumbnail looks cool, then you click on it, or is that something that I used to do? <laughs> well, just that, like just me. <laughs> Okay, I would say that's enough lava. I'm gonna do everything how I usually do it. I'm not gonna change my shaving patterns. I'm not gonna change the shaving pressure. I'm not gonna change anything. Uh, you know, I believe the perfect razor shouldn't require you to change your routine. Um, so yeah, let me just get my thumbnail real quick. Uh, I wanna get the light because this blue is so cool. Okay, I think that should work. <laughs> okay, so I'm waiting it. Right, first shave with the Precision Free. I have not used this yet. I've got two days of growth. Let's go. Uh, so before I made this video, I did do a little bit of research about Wilkinson Sword in general. And did you know... Mm, did you know before Wilkinson Sword made shavers or razors, they actually used to make musket rifles, um, like the same type of rifles used in like the American Revolution and stuff like that. That's that's pretty cool, man. Um, I don't know. I would like to think that at some point they made actual swords, <laughs> like you know Wilkinson Sword. So I don't know. Okay, first cheek done, um, I don't know, because the head is so bent, like, you can see that angle change, like, um, I don't know, I don't know if I like it or not, I will tell you what though, if you hold it like this, like with your little finger over, it is a little bit uncomfortable, because one side is like bulbous and the other side is flat, but if you do like me and you rest your little finger against the back and you shave like that, it is super comfortable, man, like, Oh my days. <laughs> Again, I'm doing the same pressure as usual. Right, that's... 
that's like after you do a little, few couple of passes, or well, not passes, a couple of like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it is shaving me. Um, I don't know if you can hear the clicking, that's a little spring behind the cartridge head, like this little black post in the centre, that's the clicking. Um, I don't know if that's normal or not. Um, I will say, even after you wash it in water, I don't like how much residue there is of the actual like foam, if you can see that at the bottom. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's like a little bit of residue. Um, but you know. Again, I'm doing this exactly like normal. Now I'm gonna, I've done my cheeks, now I'm gonna do the center, then I'm gonna do the bottom. Doing pretty good, man. Um, the people who watch my videos, because like, all the people who actually watch my videos know me. Like, um, I got a couple of like real life friends who what? Is that a cut? Mmm. <laughs> I don't know man. Anyway, as I was saying, like people like watch my videos know me in real life. So a lot of them were saying, why are you comparing it so much to your current uh like everyday use razor? Uh which is the Hydro 3. And my reason for that is because the Hydro 3 and the Protector 3 are both affordable, good for beginner razors um, like they're not advanced at all they're very easy to change the cartridges um, as far as I know because I did read a couple of, rev of reviews on this uh, as far as I know the actual cartridge life like the cartridge like of the razors they last about the same uh, to each other so, this red spot, if you guys can see it, that's a scab from the last time I shaved. Um, so, don't think that's this cutting. If it does bleed again, then that means it could be the razor. Yeah, you see what I mean? Can you see all that like clogged stuff? Like on the lower part, so I know my nails are a bit long, I'm sorry guys. You know, I don't know if I like that very much. Um, but yeah, I think that's my first pass over. And another thing I don't like is because there's no stand on it, I gotta just put it on my counter, which after using the Hydro, I don't really like. I'm gonna rinse my face, I'm gonna lather up again, like on the bottom, to do that again. On the first pass, I mean, ooh, ooh, okay, so it's not as, <laughs> hang on, I'm just rinsing my face. Okay, so on the first pass, I don't know, man, <laughs> maybe I need to use it differently, I'm not sure. Okay, I'll give you my final opinions after I'm done with the shave. Oh. Okay. Okay. So, once again, should I like re lather? Nah. Okay, here we go. Second pass on my chin and neck. Um, now I'm gonna go outwards.
Hmm. I don't know, man. We're now going to the side reverse grip. Can you also see how much like residue of the foam that's leaving? I think water got actually in the handle. Okay, so in terms of the shave, I'm done. I'm just going to rinse my face. Uh, then I'm going to dry it, you know, put the cream, do everything, all that stuff. Then I'm going to tell you guys what I personally think of it in the shave that it gave me. So far, things aren't looking too good for it. <laughs> oh. If me touching the microphone or the wire, like the wire for the microphone, is like it gives you some sort of feedback. Um, I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep my head forward, you know, so I don't touch the microphone. But sometimes it just can't be avoided. Okay. Uh, now for the after, sh like the cream for after it. got hair on my lip now <laughs> um, I mean in terms of looks can you like I don't know man this I don't know I mean I'm just drying my hands because I washed them again. Um, they irritated me a little bit. My neck always gets irritated. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's because I use my Hydro 3 more. So like I know how to get the right angle with it. Maybe I'm just not getting the right like actual like angle. Because um, for example with the Hydro 3, if you guys own a Hydro 3 and you never try this, try it out. If you're used to having like the actual handle close to your body, try and stick it out just a tiny bit. So the actual head has to bend to your face. So you get the most amount of like blades on your face. Um, so I think it's a little bit irritated here as well. I don't know I mean it works it shaved me like if I was going out like quickly to work or school I would be happy with this shave but mm. Mm. I don't know uh... <laughs> I would like register this as a good backup or travel shaver um, you know it also dries off fairly quickly too like this handle is covered in water and I don't know if you guys can like tell but it's already like almost fully dried off like the water just slided right off of it um, I'm not sure if you guys want to try it by all means go ahead and try it but for me personally 
like I said, I'll use this as like a backup shaver. You know, this isn't going to be like my main like go-to shaver. Um, if you're more worried about the cost uh, of maintaining it and using it and all that stuff, then sure, go with it. Um, because for six pounds, six like English, like British pounds, uh, you get two trays for the like protector, and but for the same price, you get one tray for the hydro. So it totally depends on you. Uh, for me personally, I don't think I'm gonna use it as my main shaver, you know. Now, of course. There will be people saying where well, it could be the like cartridge that's like came from the factory like a defect maybe but i will shave with it i'm like i'm not gonna lie like i will certainly be shaving with this as well but in general i don't know i don't know um i mean my skin isn't dried out you know my my skin isn't dried out so the aloe vera strip the green strip uh did work this white strip though, it feels like it's paper and you could just peel it off, like, <laughs> I don't know. I would say if you're looking for a main shaver, maybe stay away from it, get the Hydro, any of the Hydro line. Uh, obviously the more blades it has, the more likely it is to irritate you. The Hydro 3 for me is the perfect choice. Um, the, this, like I said, will make a good travel razor, like if you're going on holiday for a week or a month, you know, take this with you. Um, but yeah, that's my review of it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to put a link down to it because I know there's like a lot of Americans that watch me and they can't get that many Wilkinson Sword products unless it's sent to them. So if you want it, I'm going to say you go search for it yourself. Um, it's called the Wilkinson Sword Protector 3. And yeah, I'll see you all later. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Have a good day, guys. <laughs>